Okay then guys, it's auto catch tutorial time again, I've not done one of these in quite a while and um, as you can see, um, for those of you out there that are in this line of business that what I'm drawing up is a bit of balustrade to some stairs um, I've already done my general arrangement for my side sizes so I'm happy with that I've got the go ahead of the um, architect and of the client, so happy days I've drawn up balustrade done some of the machine parts, well all of the machine parts actually and I've drawn up the wall rail so that can all be sent down for getting, um, getting manufactured um, wall rail is pretty easy enough to get that all done in one, one go so that just leaves me with the top rail for the, uh, for the well, for the gallery and also for the well returns um, now I don't know about you guys but sometimes drawing in 2D gets a little bit confusing especially when you're trying to work out where your bends are going to go on your tubes and what we're trying to do is we're trying to minimise cost and minimise the amount of welding on site um, so we send the tubes off to the rollers and they put bends on so usually it's two straights and one bend a couple of things that you've got to bear in mind that when you're doing it is that the machine needs when it's doing a bend to grip at least a hundred millimeters of the material before it can do its bend and after it's done its bend as well um, and the center line radius is on the tubes on 42 diameter tube to the people that we go to is 72 millimeters so with that uh, all bird in mind off we go now what I like to do don't know about yourselves is draw myself up a bit of a sketch using uh, the isometric tool to work out where I'm going to put my joints uh, for me it just saves a lot of faffing about so what I do is I go on to tools go on to the drafting settings and I change that to isometric snap so I've already written down the um, my dimensions that I need on my sheet of paper in front of me um, so it's just a case of drawing a bit of a, a sketch out now so just so you can change that round there to where I need to be so first of all come up 172 millimeters so probably wondering why 172 well as I said before we need 100 millimeters in the machine and then we've got a 72 millimeter radius so that gives you 172 and then to the first crank I need to go horizontal 359 I'm going to draw in the, uh, the rake of it now, or the raking tube, so I need to go vertical 2614, 2614 and I need to go horizontal 3845, 3845 and then I can draw that in like that. Right, now I'm coming up to the well, so because I've got a swan neck and this is going to be a mounted joint, I go up 231 and then I come across the well uh, 213 when I draw these returns in I'm going to draw them in at 50 millimetres I know I said 72 but because I'm drawing in isometric it draws the circle slightly differently um, so it might not put them in but I know that I can get them in so the next thing is I've got to come along the gallery 3889 and then I can copy the return because I know it's going to the same point like that now I've got to draw in the uh, next rake so I need to go horizontal 2644 two, six, and I need to go horizontal 3889 and I can draw that one in there now I know that my stairs are all the same going up so I can copy that there, that thing. Yeah. So I copied that from there to there and to there. So I've only got three stirs, so I can get rid of that. Um okay, spin that round so it's right. Right, draw in the top gallery rear. So that's um, three eight nine eight, three eight nine eight. And I can return that back one four one nine. So that's there. So that's basically the set out for the centre line of my tube. So now I'm just going to go and put the. Um, well, actually, what I will do is um, just put that on there. I know that I've got a bolster on that corner there, so I'm just going to indicate that for myself. So I've got a bolster there. 
Um, that's the only corner joint where I've got a baluster. Um, so what I'll probably do there is I'll probably specify a Q rail, uh, 90 degree, weldable elbow. Um, that'll look pretty nice there. Right, so I know where I've got my joints, uh, my mounted joints on my swan necks, which is basically them ones there, and all the rest of this can have a bend in it, so I'll just quickly draw in some bends. So radius 50, as I said before, even though the 72 is just so I can just indicate it in there. Not that it makes much difference, um, but. A little pit box a bit bigger sometimes. There we go, come on. Alright, next one. There and there. There. Come on. What I do know is that when I come to detail these up, because it's got a swan neck in it, and because of the tightness of the um, the return well that I will have a little bit more uh, welding than what I would actually like now let me just choose a different colour so I've got red so I know that my mitered connections um, are all on these, so I'm going to mark on where I'm going to have my joints. So I've got a mounted connection there, so that's definitely going to be uh, a welded joint. So I'll have that one there, there, and there. I also know that as I come round the corner, I haven't got more than a hundred millimeters. I've got considerably less, so I'm going to have to have a joint there as well. So I'm going to pop that in as well. So I'll just make all these the same. So I'll have. I'll have three of them identical. Um, I'll be doing them differently. So then, what I've got, um, I've got a straight and I've got a bend. So why not put? I'll put a welded joint there. So I can copy that a number of times to keep them the same. Um, so. Da -da 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 -da. so the only question then is where do I put my other welded joint? Should I put it there or should I put it there? Well, I'm going to put it here just to even things out a little bit, I think. It's not ideal, but. So let's have a look what I've got. Got a bend, I've got a bend, and I know I said one bend, but this is the bottom, so I'm okay with that. So I'll come up to mounted joint, mounted joint, come up, bend, bend round. So it's going to be a sight weld, sight weld, joints and sight weld, sight weld, round, sight weld, bend. Da -da -da. There we go, guys. Now from that, I can cut, I can see that I'm going to need. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve rails to draw, I think. So, um, come back later and I'll show you how I've got on. Alright, cheers, guys. It's as easy as that. Right then. Um, just finished doing all my details now. Uh, made it really, really simple for myself. Um, manually edited in the sizes that are, that are needed. Seemed to be the easiest thing to do. So then I've only got um, two drawings actually, because I've made them as much, pretty much the same as I can. So um, basically, what I do now is this last one here. Um, that is just going to be a cut piece of tube because it's got no bends on it. So we've got this one that one and that one that goes to the rollers so all I do now is make it into a PDF um, that's easy to do into file where's plot and that's in what size is that before I start here too so 
you want to make a PDF out of it, and I've already got uh, well, previously if it's got a PDF associated with it, which it has, it's got an A3, so it's not the right size. Uh, PDF properties, customer properties, I've changed it to a, an A2. Uh, I could have done that in the, um, on the front page, so we'll go to the landscape. Okay, um, okay, save it to that file. Do a window of that, and then OK. And hopefully, oh, that's come OK. Just minimise that because I'm going to do the next one. The previous plot. There we go. Change that to an A3. If anybody can see the A3, shout up because. Maybe it'll be down at the bottom. There it is. Lots of properties. Custom properties. It's all landscape. Okay. Okay. Save that uh, window. You can see at the bottom, I've got two jobs now. The next one will be the third job. Window. That one. Uh, okay, so it's got three jobs, one, two, three, so I'll click on that, that opens it, and there's the three jobs. What you can do with this is, um, at any time, as you go through through the ones, if you decided that that's, you didn't want to put that one in, just right click on it and um, delete it if you want, but yeah, I want all three of them, so I'm going to save that. So it's going to do something, so file, save a copy. I'm going to put it on the um, external ad, on the external drive, on the memory stick if you like. So I'm um, going to put it into the into this folder here. Come on. Um, so there we go. Um, I'll just drop it into here, so I'm going to give it a new name. So keep the job number the same and then in brackets I'll put real details for rollers and then what I like to do is give it a number so that um, it can easily be identified it's got to be a number that's never going to be used again or at least not for a long time so what I tend to do is put the date in backwards so today's date is the 24th of the 8th 13 so I put 130824 so it puts it in order for me uh, underscore and then I put the time in when the time is 12 minutes past um, 21 or 12 minutes past 9 so I'll go um, 21 dash 12 and I'll never be in order then for ages save it job's done there we are guys that is all my details done all I've got to do now is just tidy the drawing up a little bit and put the rail marks onto the um, general arrangement and then they can have that and they can make it and start putting it in on site thanks for watching guys and uh, when I think of something else interesting to show you I'll put that up as well alright then happy drawing